Hey everybody, and welcome to another Cricut Craft tutorial. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos all the time, and hit that bell icon because that will alert you to when I post a new video. Today we're going to talk about mini garden flags. These come in a variety of styles and colors, and they are uh, $3.99 for the flag, and then the holder that comes in two pieces is $6.99. So you want to make sure that you do get the holder, but you could always clip these somewhere as well. I'm going to show you guys how to make this flag here and how easy they are to work with. But this one is just a blank flag that we made. Just to show you, you can do a lot with these flags. And then this is the American flag one, which we're going to hang up for the 4th of July. These are really beautiful in planters or pots. They're also really nice um, as, you know, like little graveside decorations. You could use these in your house. There's a lot of things you can do with them. So let's go over to Design Space and we can get started. For our patriotic flag, which is the one with the actual flag on it, I made a little quick template. I just measured out about the space that I had to work with. And then this blue box up here is where the stitching is. I don't like to put too much decor above the stitching. It, it runs the risk of getting damaged when you put the flag on and I just don't like the look of it. I prefer all my decoration below that. So I designed this all by myself. I didn't use a template or anything. I just kind of threw some stars in, some words that made me think of the United States, especially 4th of July. So we have freedom, apple pie, brave, USA, baseball, patriotic, and 4th of July. I'm going to do all the words in black and I'm going to do the stars and the hearts in their respective color. Um, to save my own sanity, I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to make it so that it all cuts out and it makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the templates because I don't need them. And the first thing that I'm going to do is take all of these hearts and I'm going to click on each one individually while holding control. At least I'm going to try to. Um, and you may need to go to your layers tab and just select all of those. And I'm going to attach all of the hearts because I don't want them to move and it might be a pain for me to set them specifically, you know, in their the way they're laid out. The next thing that I'm going to do is just this line of stars down here at the bottom. I'm going to again select just these stars here and I'm going to attach these. This single star by himself will be easy to lay out, no big deal, very easy. But now the hard part is getting all the black to stay where I have it. So what you're going to do is go in and find each of your colored pieces and you're going to click on this little eyeball because if you see when I click on the eyeball that star that's right here disappears. Don't worry, we can bring them back, it's no big deal, but we're gonna wanna do that for each of our colored items. So you're gonna do that, and to get rid of each, to get rid of the entire selection of the stars that you did, just find where it says attach above all your stars and click on the little eyeball. Next thing we'll do is click over here, and we're gonna find select all, which is this. You're gonna select all, and you are going to attach. What that does is it just makes sure that nothing moves on your screen so that when you go to cut this, it's going to cut in this exact design and save it just like how you have it laid out. Before you go to click make it though, you want to make sure that you bring back all of your colored pieces so that you can just cut everything without any worries. And to do that, you just click the eyeball and it's right back where we had it. Go ahead, click make it and we'll show you guys what it's going to look like once it's on our screen. So you'll see that this is our black. Here's our red with our hearts already laid out. And then this is our stars. We just need to cut one star off of the end in order to um, use it elsewhere. But what I'm going to do is just move these over just a little bit just so that it's not as close to the single star because he is a different size, but it's hard to tell. Go ahead and click on continue. And we're going to just use some um, Oracle 651 or Cal 651. Um, we're going to use that in order to um, prevent any fading or um, early removal. Um, some people say to use HTV on these flags, but these are actually made out of like a vinyl-y plastic. And the Oracle 651 or any permanent outdoor vinyl is what we recommend for this product because it will not fade. It's made to go outside. So we'll cut this on regular vinyl. I'm going to get this cut out. I'll show you guys weeding it, and then we'll be able to apply. For this project, we're going to use the Blue Grid transfer tape. Um, this is a medium tack, and it has this nice grid on it. So it makes it a little easier to make sure that like your 
words are straight. You just want to make sure that you line up. And the way I do it is I find like the bottom of a grid and I just pick one of my sections of words. So for this one, I'm going to use 4th of July. And I just make sure, oops, and that was not even close. Well, that'll be close enough. I slid a little bit when I put that down. But you'll just want to line up one of your grids with the bottom of your words. I'm just going to have to kind of eyeball it a little bit when I do this. But I do like the blue grid. It is really nice. It is easier to make sure that your stuff is centered and even. And we are going to put our words down first on our flag. That way everything is even when we do the um, stars and the hearts. So what we're going to do is use the little, and it's hard to see it, but there's a stitching. And we're going to use that to help us even up where our words are going to go. It's a little bit easier to see in person than probably on the, the camera. But because this is such a tight design, I just want to make sure that it's pretty gosh darn straight and as straight as I can possibly make it. Nobody will notice if it's not 100% straight, but you do just want to try to be pretty careful and make it straight. So you press it down with your squeegee and just like any regular design that you do, you can just peel your transfer tape off. And we're going to go ahead and reuse this transfer tape. Because why not? Why waste it? It's still good transfer tape. So there are our words. And then remember we have the stars and one set as the line and one set's just the single star. So I'm going to do the single star super quick. It'll only take one second to lay that one down. I'm just going to stick that anywhere on the transfer tape. This is mostly just to help keep the oils from getting on it. And he's just going to go right there. And luckily, again, that one's not to have to be perfect, so you can just kind of stick him wherever. This last line of stars is going to go on to the under patriotic. So you're going to just put it on the transfer tape. And you can trim your transfer tape down if you'd like to. I'm going to go ahead and do that just to make it easier to see what I'm doing. We're going to go ahead and trim our transfer tape down. And these are just shapes from the design space um, application that I used. And again, I just eyeball it to figure out about where I want to set it. That looks pretty good. Use a little squeegee on it, make sure it's down. Peel that up. And then for our hearts, we're going to grab another, we're going to grab the transfer tape. Just gonna stick that down. I'm gonna trim my transfer tape around my hearts. Just to, again, to make it easier to see. And I'm gonna trim my hearts a little bit closer to the heart themselves. Just again, no big deal. This is all just kind of a work with it, figure out what works for you type of thing. And if you like to use the gridded transfer tape, I like it for some projects. Other things I like to just eyeball. And then we're just gonna take our hearts and you're just going to kind of line them up. Oops, not like that. Don't drop them. Just going to line them up about where you think they should go. And you can always go back and look at your design to see where you have them lined up. But for me, I think that was about right. And it doesn't have to be 100% perfect. I'm just going to take your off. And again, I designed this all by myself. I just did some words that I thought reminded me of um, 4th of July and just USA, things like that. So, and I just did them in some different fonts. Um, I'll try to list the fonts below, but I really don't remember all of them. Let me grab the little flag holder so that you guys can see. So it comes in two parts. It's metal, which is really nice. All you need to do is take the bottom portion, which is this one, and you'll see it has a little screw top and the little top part and you just screw them together, which not always as easy as one would think, but especially doing it at this angle so that you guys can see I am struggling hardcore trying to do this at an angle. But you just screw them together. It's super easy. There we go. Super easy, super quick. These are actually really beautiful for like gray sides. Um, they're really, really nice as like a memorial flag. They're really pretty in your garden if you wanted to like mark where you have certain plants. And you just want to make sure that it's good and tight. 
but it'll only go so tight. And I will say, I don't know if you guys can see it, you probably can't because it's off the screen. I did get a little paint flake from it, but that's okay. Let me make sure it's good on there. So one thing I like about these flags a lot is how easy it is to get over the holder. So most of the time you kind of got to scrunch them up. This one, honestly, it just slides right over the hook and then it's on. So it's really easy to put on. I will link the flag, the mini flags below with the holders. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm always happy to answer those for you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos all the time. Hit that bell icon. That will alert you when I post a new video. Have a great day and happy crafting.